we have a functional group which is not attached to the terminal carbon atom. So what I mean is, in, uh, we, we took the example of ethanol which is CH3, CH2, OH. You can see that the OH group is attached to the terminal carbon atom. So it's technically part of the main chain. However, what if we have something like So you can see that there are three carbon atoms. So it's based, it's it's an isomer of propanol because uh, it's it's actually propan two all because you can see that the alcohol group is on the second carbon atom. So it's propan two all. But uh, how how do we write the structural formula for this? So it's CH three CH. Then you put the functional group in brackets OH, and then CH three again. So it's nothing but uh, basically the same thing that you did for the methyl group or you can see that this carbon atom I'm pointing at it's bonded to one CH3 here and one CH3 here so you can write CH3 pull twice you can put these in brackets and then you can write CHOH so you can either write it like this or write it like this both ways are correct whatever you find easier you should always go with that. So this is how basic, we basically write structural formula, very easy. Now skeletal formula. So skeletal formula is actually the easiest type of formula that I find because uh, it's you basically don't have to make anything. You just have to make some lines and you're done. So the skeletal formula. So let's for example take ethane which is CH3, CH3, ethane. Now, in ethane, uh, what happens is basically you just make a line. This is the skeletal formula of ethane, what I've drawn here. This is actually the skeletal formula. You must be shocked, but it's actually a single line because it shows that. Uh, so, so this line signifies the carbon carbon bond. And in, a, in skeletal formula, we don't, we don't write C and we don't write H. So when we have made a single line, what we are trying to implying, um, imply is that this line is a bond between two carbon atoms and both the ends the, the ends of the line are carbon atoms the ends of the line are carbon atoms so this is a carbon atom and this is a carbon atom and there are three hydrogens attached to this we do not show the hydrogen atoms in the skeletal formula and there are three hydrogen atoms attached to this so first carbon atom second carbon atom three hydrogens attached to each now to make it more uh, to to explain to you more clearly Let's take CH3, CH2, CH3, which is propane. This is the structural formula of propane. So when we write the skeletal formula, it becomes this. So you can see that one carbon atom, second carbon atom, third carbon atom. So you can see that this is a skeletal formula. We have the, the, the ends of the lines are carbon atoms. We don't make a straight line longer and just say that this is second, this is first and this is third because no, we have to make sure that the ends of the line are carbon atoms and that's why we make a zigzag. So we, we, we've made a zigzag type of thing over here because we have we need to show that this corner over here, this point is, is, is the second carbon atom. So 1, 2 and 3 and we do not show the hydrogens. Similarly, if we have butane, which is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, if we have butane, then we make this so one two three and four you can see four ends in total of lines so this is how we write skeletal formula now let's dig deeper into skeletal formula what if we have a methyl group so let's say what if we have a molecule which is this so you can see that one two three four carbon atoms on the main chain and then there is a methyl group attached to the second carbon atom. This is the example that we did when we were doing naming of organic compounds. So just like the normal rules like of naming, the main chain will be the longest carbon chain. So that's butane. So we've made the butane chain and then we draw a straight line for the methyl group. So this is 
this is uh, 2 methyl butane because 1, 2, 3 and 4.